Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to talk about M Caffeine products and I have some new launches from this brand because I think they have two ranges. One is coffee and the other one is green tea one and because my skin was dry so I wanted to try something that will suit my skin. I think the green tea range suits more of a combination to oily skin people. I mean check uh, before you buy. But today we are going to talk about uh, these products. So let's begin. This is the first product and this is their M Caffeine Naked in Raw Coffee Face Wash. This is coffee with the white water lily and this is for normal to oily skin. Now again I applied that filter that says select your skin type but even then they displayed this cleanser so I don't know. Um, what's the logic but anyways we had to try a new cleanser so I tried this one and one thing that I really liked about this M caffeine brand is that they are very transparent about their ingredient list you guys know I do not like brands which are kind of notorious about their ingredient list I have tried all these products for a month just in case you're new here and you don't know how I review my skincare products I try them for a complete month and then I post a review on the next month so this is the face wash it comes in a normal cardboard packaging you guys know their coffee range has this black and um, green outer packaging another point that i really liked about this brand is that they mention that what product is going to suit which skin type so like the face wash normal to oily skin this is priced at 349 rupees and you get 100 ml of product which is a great quantity for a face wash generally you get 30 ml 25 ml 40 ml 50 ml but 100 ml is a good quantity topical application of coffee is great for your skin it improves blood circulation to promote collagen production cell regeneration reduces puffiness and brightens the skin at the back they have mentioned that it contains a natural fragrance now when we talk about fragrance sometimes people say that natural fragrance is okay and artificial fragrances are not okay but it's not like that when it comes to skincare because in skincare you have to be precise when it comes to a certain skin types like sensitive skin it doesn't matter what kind of fragrance it is even if it is a natural fragrance you can be sensitive to it so please check that and then only buy a product the packaging of the inner bottle is also like a tube and it contains a lot of product now when you open it it has a very thick gel like consistency very thick it is not your normal smooth gel like face wash this is quite thick and that kind of helps because you end up getting appropriate amount of product that you want for your face so it works for me this is sls free paraben free it is not tested on animals and i think there is one more thing dermatologically tested and fda approved so these are all the uh, top points that they have highlighted at the back of the face wash i didn't feel drying after applying this face wash and washing my face after using it so i don't know if you have oily skin that lean towards on the drier side in winters then you can try it out because trust me it is not stretchy or dry so i'm not sure how will it work on combination to oily skin if you have, if you have tried it and you belong to combination to oily skin type let me know in the comment section below did you find it drying did you find it not worth it tell us in the comment section below it has a cooling sensation to it like once you wash your face you feel really cold it's not because I use cold water because I never do that. I use a normal water. A normal water? Uh, it's not because I wash my face with cold water. No, I wash my face with normal water. And when I did that, even after uh, washing my face, even after uh, 3 to 2 minutes, uh, I feel cold. So I don't know what's the ingredient that is doing that. And I got these two free. This is their body butter and this one is their body scrub. I got this one free because I purchased three products M caffeine face wash um, face mask and three or four products and that's why they gave this free with that it's kind of a combo thing so let's talk about the body scrub first it's a very tiny jar and it's very cute I like the idea of uh, giving a certain stuff free if you are buying three four items from the same brand because then you can try out some different stuff and then decide accordingly because this is because this is not a full size product i think this one contains how much does it contain this one contain 20 grams and this is 
normal to oily skin type body scrub i used it and it has a very nice coffee fragrance to it i personally like tea but when it comes to body butters i prefer something which has a fragrance of coffee so if you like that then only you will like this body scrub when you use it you smell like coffee the entire day the entire day you will smell like coffee and the body scrub here is bit harsh so whenever you apply it please be gentle with your skin i know a lot of people are very gentle on their face and on body they're like <laughs> you're not washing clothes you're washing your skin so please be gentle because you have to be careful you are just applying serum moisturizer and every good ingredient on your face and then you're not taking care of your body there is not a balance in your skin care because when we talk about skin you have skin all over your body so please be gentle because it can give you micro cuts overall i'm not a big fan of their body scrub yes it has a nice fragrance that fragrance will be there throughout the day you will be smelling like coffee but because it's a bit harsh so that's why i i do not like it very very much but you can give it a try if you get it free let's talk about the body butter now this one is meant for all skin types so i like that uh, this one has cocoa butter in it and it has very thick consistency like i hope you can see that i have used a lot of it so the thing with body butters that i have noticed is that they are very thick in consistency very thick and that's why sometimes they take a little bit of time uh, to just penetrate into your skin I do like this body butter it's just that it takes a lot of time to just blend into your skin so if you're okay with that then you'll like it again this one also smells like coffee so you will smell like coffee throughout the day most of the products do have this kind of tendency in this range so i'll not repeat this point if you're buying coffee range you will smell like coffee period overall i like this body butter because it's very hydrating the lasting power is great it's just that it takes too much of time uh, in blending into your skin so that's the only con otherwise i like it let's talk about their face mask this is the face mask that i tried this is m caffeine naked and rich choco face mask and this one again is for 595 rupees it contains 100 grams of product this one is meant for dry skin type and i was so happy to see a face mask saying for dry skin type because generally it is difficult to find a mask for dry skin type the texture of the mask glides across your skin leaving it soft supple and hydrated with pure cocoa caffeine and hydrating ingredients like seedweed and aloe vera the mask takes away the dirt pollution and dead cells and restores the water balance of your skin to give it a healthy glow this one comes with a wooden spatula i don't think is the best way to apply a mask like this uh, I think a brush would be a better alternative. I didn't see any kind of exfoliating factor in this face mask, but definitely this one feels very hydrating and nourishing. Every time I used it, and I haven't used it every single day, I only used it twice a week because that's how I like to use my scrubs and my face masks. It won't feel drying or anything like that. It is also great for somebody who has very dull and dry skin because this will just make you feel fresh and uh, awake if you're having a rough day and you want to pamper your skin this will make you feel so fresh and just relaxing then we have their serum which comes in this kind of packaging again so this is the outer packaging and this is what the uh, serum looks like and it has a dropper inside which doesn't hold too much product and it's a bit ir irritating because you have to go twice and thrice to get four four or five drops of it you have to fill in fill it in again like you can see right now it is half filled but when i pour it on my skin like when i pour it on my palm it just gives me two or three drops and then i have to fill it again and then two three drops that that is the irritating part this one is priced at 645 rupees if i'm not wrong let me check 645 rupees and it contains 40 ml of product and this one is meant for all skin types i just feel that if you have extremely dry skin you will have to take six to eight drops of it and then you will feel hydrating this is a very hydrating serum i like this one and it's definitely one of my favorites from this range 
I love this one. It's so hydrating and it sinks into your skin really well. You do not feel greasy. It's not that thick kind of serum. So that's what the quality of a serum is. It penetrates into your skin. It is very lightweight. And that is why you always go from light to thick. When you do your skincare regime, you always follow the process of light to thicker formula. And this is the eye cream. And this is what the outer packaging looks like. And it comes with a pump, which makes it really easy. You just pump it out and apply it on your under eye area. This eye cream is meant for all skin types. This is priced at 575 rupees and you get 30 ml of product. So like all creams, this one claims to work for your dark circles, under eye wrinkles and puffiness. So I have to test this one for three months. So give me that much of time. Then I will give you update because you can't judge an anti-aging product just on the basis of one month test. You just can't. However, I feel that this is not hydrating enough for my dry and dry area. I have extremely dry and dry area. Even when my skin is oily in summers, my under eye area is really dry. And if you have dry and dry area, you will understand that you get fine lines and wrinkles earlier than other skin types. It is very lightweight. It's non-greasy. If you're going to apply concealer on top of it, it's great. But I do not find it hydrating enough. It just sinks into my skin so well that I feel like after an hour I should apply moisturizer or an under eye cream because it is looking really dry. This was the review guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'm losing breath right now. I'll see you guys very, very soon. And till then, bye.